Hi, Dr. Bridget, with another prescription for success. Today, I'm continuing the theme from last week about people not being their behaviours. So, behaviours are the only thing that we can sort of look at, really, because we can't actually see what's going on inside someone's um, thinking. All we can see is the result of it. And the reason that I say that people aren't their behaviours is because behaviours result from memories, experiences, negative things that have happened to us, the way that we've been brought up, the language we use, and some internal sort of processing things. And that's how we end up with our reality. Um, and our reality then has an effect on our emotional state, um, which then has an effect on our physiology, both at a, um, a, la a big level and at a cellular level. And that physiology, that emotional state and that reality then create a behaviour and behaviours get us our results. So, um, you know, behaviours actually... Um, always have a positive intention. So for that person who's using their internal resources and how, how they um, program their sort of thinking and behaviour, there's always a positive intention for that. So if we remember that, then actually um, we can just get interested in people's behaviour. So the, the next thing I want to talk about is are other people's behaviours coming from us? So we have a particular model of the world and we have a behaviour and we've got emotions and um, thoughts that whether we like it or not we actually project and then quite often we get them coming back to us. So if we see um, people's behaviour and we don't like that, we have to ask ourselves, is there anything inside ourselves that's creating um, that behaviour. I recently had a client who was um, had a team and there was quite a lot going on in the team and there were people off work and um, she noticed her team were sort of unhappy and a bit chaotic and making quite a lot of mistakes and when we, when we actually talked it through it was potentially coming from her because she was worried about her staff so she was unhappy, a bit chaotic and worried about mistakes and then it just came back so um, having got her a lot more focused and clear about what she actually needed to do and happier about what was going on, I think that that will make a huge difference to how her team um, feed back um, to her and how their behaviour is. Um, last week I did a, um, a thing on the five-step feedback model. So I'll put a link here and we can feed back to people um, about their behaviour and about how that makes us feel. Um, the other thing that we can do is to accept the person and um, reject the behaviour because, say, people aren't their behaviours. So if you've either got a behaviour yourself that you don't like or you see other people around you who've got behaviours that you don't like, then it's worth giving me a, a ring because it could be that um, things are stopping you from moving on and getting what you want in life and we can either change your behaviours and your beliefs or we can help you to become resilient and accept other people's um, behaviours so that you can move on or put some boundaries around that relationship with them. So yeah, anything like that, then just give me a shout because I do a free half hour and I'd love to talk to you about it because it's, it's all really fascinating and all really easy to change. So I'll see you next week. Bye.